So, Scheherazade, also sorry for this video coming out really late. I uh, didn't have enough time before work. First video I made of her, I didn't give her enough credit and the thumbnail was a little too coomer. Uh, but yeah, I after after reading Agartha, D tier character, after reading Oku, B, at least B tier character. She like the amount of growth she showed in Oku, it like it shows that servants are just as they might not they're not human, but they're not like toys. They're not statues. They are a they are actual characters that are growing. That's what all those strengthenings strengthenings and interludes are. They're growing as servants. Uh, but hers is like hers is like actual character development of her overcoming what she was about when she was lit alive or at least what they personified so it's either they're correcting their own writing or they're trying to add on to the character I think it's more them correcting their own writing I like her design uh, I can see why people would not but I'm about it. Base attack. Oh boy. Yeah, this is... I don't even know how her damage is as high as it is. Because this is like 4 star numbers at level 80. This is not a 5 star. This is lower than Bunny Toria. And because she's a caster, it's even worse. At least Bunny Toria has like a 1.1 modifier. She has a 0.9 modifier. So her dam her damage is even lower like ouch like give her an interlude that buffs up her attack she actually fucking needs it this like you're supposed to bring her to farming or a boss and she's hitting like as hard as four stars like why especially the boss fight why are you bringing a servant that's gonna do less damage like, I get the utility, but if she's supposed to be, like, uh, either main DPS or, like, sub DPS with, like, clearing, uh, all the ads. Sorry. Like, she's not killing stuff. She's gonna have problems killing stuff, but she's not roided out of her mind. She needs the black rail, like, a lot. <laughs> like, if you're gonna grail a five star, like, grail her. She actually needs it. Her HP is super high to compensate. Like, this is one of the highest in the game. Uh, I think she she's probably, like, top 10 highest HP. If I if I had to take a guess at this right, right here, it'd probably be top 10. So she at least has that going for her. But I think they overcompensated for the HP. I think they way overcompensated for this. And sure, her attack should at least at least be a thousand uh ten thousand mb charge 0.51 i actually would have preferred her arts card to have less hits because that would have made her gains would have been better on her mp and we'll we'll talk it about it in a little bit about the little awkwardness uh this is below average quick looks a little better i don't know if you want to do a qab if you do it will definitely give her a little more damage and crit more but it's I, I i can't give a lot of insight on this character because i've never used her in like farming or a boss fight so this is the buff that came with oku guaranteed drain hurts buff 30 percent battery 30 percent this is awkward because you want to pop this turn three and but the thing is you want to loop you might need this arts buff to help loop but that's what 2004 is for so she is one of the servants that actually needs it Mur muramasa is like that too like don't get me wrong like his the hits on his mp uh he needs 2004 to like properly loop or starting charge after that he can just go get going uh but for these black rail loopers like this is 
their base stats are holding them back a little bit. You are going to want to pop this skill turn three and you have to pop all the Castoria MPs. Good news about that is you are popping Castoria's uh, MP turn one because you're popping the 230s. Uh, both a Castoria and Shahrazad should be at 80 if you max out her append. And then you're popping the two Castoria uh, batteries, one on one on a Castoria that has the append maxed out, one on Shahrazad. And then you are, they're both MPing that turn. So that will help out her damage problem significantly because 30% of this is 2,700. So that will get her to acceptable numbers for a four star. I mean, a five star. So it's, it still could have been higher if her base deck's higher, but at least it's better than this, which is lower than four stars. Second skill, AOE charm, and then defense. 40% is nothing, is not nothing. And her HP is super high, so this is good for her. Uh, are gonna want Tomomo to reduce cooldowns uh, in a boss fight, because she is, she is able to loop. She is not meant to be a farmer. Big distinction. This is her only skill that actually helps with looping. So not meant to be farming everything. If you if she can do it, it's because you're brute forcing it. Third skill is pretty cool. Five uh five turn guts, 3k HP, and an AoE guts one time, two turns. Uh yeah. And she reduces king enemy attacks for one turn. <laughs> These are all the kings. And there are a good amount of berserkers. Not that many assassins have the king trait. Unlike knight class. But yeah, like kind of got she kind of got screwed on this she kind of got screwed she's good for um like type neutral damage like type neutral she it's fine but yeah i mean at least you're not you're not gonna be fighting kings mid node unless it's like a lot or something where you're getting servants in second wave so it's it's a pet peeve but it's like not the worst thing it, it is 50% too, so they're not... This combined with this, you're pretty much not taking damage that turn. You're pay, taking like less than a thousand at most, really. It is good that she has this. This is her only passive, and it is super good that she has this, because it makes her refund a lot better than it otherwise would be. You need mana loading if you want the loops to be cleaner. You don't have to, but you're probably going to want it. And she does have this, so that is cool. If you get multiple copies, you probably won't, aren't going to get multiple copies, though. So, thankfully, she has a buffed MP. Default effect ups MP damage. Good. Damage all enemies, five hits. This is higher than Muramasa. This is higher than Summer Kama. This is higher than uh space ishtar this is the same number of hits as summer abuki so this if you buff up her mp gain and everything is gonna look so somewhat similar to summer abuki maybe even better because her mp gain is higher so she'll scale better with mp gain buffs i'm not saying she's gonna loop like summer abuki that's definitely not what I'm saying, especially because she's fighting assassins, which have the lowest refund rate. But it is something. They added this debuff resistance 50% one time, three turns. This is so her charm sticks. Not this. Do not pop this right after you pop this. Otherwise, you're the. This is almost guaranteed to land on a king. You're really wasting it if you pop this, like, first. Pop, like, get the, force the charm, then pop this. Like, or wait to pop it, since if they're charmed, they can't hit you. So you're wasting a turn on the guts. 
Oh, yeah, actually, that is something to say. It is good that she has this on the same skill. I, I would not want this on this. Because if they're charmed, they're not attacking you. So you're wasting. Why do you need to reduce their attack if they're not attacking you? So at least good, day, good, day, ugh, good game design there. Damage mod against king enemies and holy crap. Look at this scaling. Base is 200. Most of these super effective mods are like base 150. She's base 200. If we look at her damage chart right here. Oh, faster. And AoE. So Shahrazad. 200% du means double. Doubles her damage. Considering she is the hard, like almost the hardest hitting AoE caster, she starts blowing them out the goddamn water and starts hitting like an, a single target. So good for her. And that scales with overcharge, meaning the Castoria MPs are going to buff her attack and it's going to buff up her uh, damage because of the overcharge. And this, this is a good Bonzi. Holy crap. For a serving that's supposed to be used in a boss fight, 100% debuff resistance as your Bonzi E? That's, that's really good. If you're up against an assassin boss, which is just spamming debuffs, which that's pretty common. Assassins are like one of the most likely to be spamming debuffs. She's just like, no, you're not doing shit to me. So, I don't even think I mentioned the Bonsi in the last video. That actually, that is, that's probably the best thing she could have gotten for a Bonsi. So, yeah, she's not, it's, and it's also, it's really, really weird that she is the hardest hitting, has the hardest hitting MP damage, but her attack is like that abysmal. That's just showing like how well, the everything is multiplying together arts mp damage buffed mp they multiply together really really well oh yeah more arts here should you summon first shaharazad if you want to pull it off, her off the ticket if you have sieg sieg is gonna loop better uh i can't say for certain whether murasaki would loop better but yeah, real quick. Saki. Saki is six hit damage mod against demonic, which is like clearing uh, trash ads anyway. Uh, battery MP damage three turns. You. Murasaki might loop better like in terms of game but probably not by that much Shahrazad might loop a little easier or might get a little more back but I think Murasa Murasaki would be a better farmer than Shahrazad so back to share So, if you like the character, if you thought, uh, if you enjoyed her in Oku, not Agartha, I think she was, again, D tier character in Agartha, B tier character in Oku. You can summon for her, but if you really, really want her, just pull her off the ticket. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like or a sub. And if you're feeling really generous, give me some feedback on the video in the comment section. I am very much looking to improve in the coming months as the channel continues to grow. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.